everyone, Amanda here. Today we're going to be doing a three station circuit. So I'm going to be using a sturdy chair, a beach towel, and the third station will be a body weight exercise. So we're going to be rotating between the, the chair, the towel, and body weight. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start off with some hamstring curls to warm up the legs. So we're going to be doing 20 seconds, followed by a 10 second rest, and then another 20 seconds at that same station. Let's take it to a side to side reach. So our first exercise is going to be mountain climbers on the chair, but we're going to rest for 10 seconds in between and then do it again for another 20 before we move on to the towel. Let's reach overhead. So we're going to be going twice around the circuit before we switch up our exercises. So it'll be a total of four sets of 20 seconds at each station. Let's go to alternating high knees. Nice and easy here. Breathing through it. You got this. Crossovers. So we're gonna cross, elbow to knee. Nice and easy. Keep warming up. Two more. All right, let's start at our first station. Our first exercise is going to be a mountain climber on the chair. So I'm going to place my hands on either sides of the seat of the chair, walk my feet back, push my chest into my shoulders. Ready? Let's go. Alternating, knees up, bracing through the core. Keep that pace up. It's quick. You're getting those knees up high, staying on your toes, breathing through. If you're not a fan of mountain climbers on the floor because you don't like to be working with your head down, if it causes any dizziness, doing these on the stairs or on a chair is a great option. All right, let's get ready to go for our second set. Hands on either side. Let's go. Knees up high, breathing through it. And I like to do these on the chair because it also keeps my wrist in a more neutral position when I can grip the sides which I do find a little easier on the wrist. Keep it up, keep it up, you're almost there. Rest. All right, let's take it over to our towel. So we're gonna go to a straight arm pullback. We're gonna set this towel behind our backs with our palms facing out, and we're gonna lift up and squeeze and back down. Exhale, inhale. So we're lifting and squeezing our shoulder blades together. Keep breathing through this, exhale up. Inhale down, go with the range of motion that feels right for your shoulders. You're trying to keep some tension on that towel. Rest for 10, we're gonna go again. So once again, my palms are up and out, shoulder blades are set back, slight bend in the knees, so I'm standing tall. Ready, here we go. Squeeze it up. So you're lifting and working through the range of motion that feels right for your shoulders. There should be a squeeze in the traps, which is in the middle of the back next to the spine. So you're gonna feel that at the top of the movement. Keep pushing through here, you can do it. Lower it down, let's take it to a cardio. So with this one, we're going to hook with the right, jab with the left. All right, let's get ready here. Here we go, hook, jab, hook, jab, keep it up. So we're going high on the hook and low on the jab. Breathe through this, halfway through this round. On our next set, we're gonna switch up those arms. Strong punches, you can do it. And rest. So this time, we're gonna hook with the left, jab with the right. So let's catch a breather here. Let's get ready to go again in three, two, one. Here we go, right, left, opposite. <laughs> For me, it's right and left. For you, it's left and right. Keep pushing. Breathe through, breathe through. You got this, strong punches. Use those upper back muscles, keep it up. Almost there, rest. All right, we're back to the top. Let's take it back to our chair. Mountain climbers, two more sets here. So heels are back, shoulder blades are back, abs are in. Ready, let's go. Knees up high. So you're pulling those knees in toward the chest, breathing through this. Keep it up. Push through, push through. Keep that pace. Get your heart rate up here. Rest.
last for 10. Catch a breather. We have one more set of mountain, climber, mountain climbers on the chair. Let's get ready here. Ready? Let's go. Climb it up. Push through this. Try not to slow down here. You can do it. Breathe through, breathe through. Almost there. Keep pushing. Rest. All right, let's take it back to our towel. Once again, we're on our strain arm pullbacks. So let's place the towel behind the back. Shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees. So let's keep that towel taut. We're just pulling gently outward as we lift and squeeze up. Breathe through this. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Keep it up. Lifting and squeezing. Bracing the core. Rest here. Relax those shoulders. We're going to go again. One more set. Slight bend in the knees. Shoulder blades are back. Lift the chest. Ready? Let's go. Pull up. Exhale up. Inhale down. Pull those abs in. You want to stand tall during this set. Keep it up. Almost there. Rest. All right, let's lower our towel down. We're back to cardio. Hook, jab. All right, let's get ready. Right arm hook, left arm jab. Let's go. Strong punches. Use those upper back muscles to produce the punch. You got it. Keep it up, keep it up. Almost there, five more seconds on this round. Rest. So this time we're going to hook left, jab right. So let's get ready. Wide stance. Here we go. Left, right, left, right. You got it. Up high for the hook, down low for the jab. Keep pushing halfway. Breathe through it. You got this. And rest. All right, grab a water break here. We're going to go into our next round. Three all new exercises. So let's stay hydrated. Up next, for our chair exercise, we're going to go into an alternating toe tap with an arm swing. So let's get ready here. So we're going to raise our foot, gently tap the chair, and back down. Ready? Let's go. Now this one, I'm keeping this in the low impact version where I'm always keeping one foot on the floor. If you wanna add a jump to this, you can, but of course that will be a higher impact option. So let's keep this up. Breathe through, breathe through, get those knees up high. Rest. Take a breather here, catch your breath. Nice and easy, shoulder blades are back. Ready, here we go. Lift that heel up, touch the bottom of your foot to the floor, swing those arms. We're getting our heart rate up here. You got this. Almost there, rest. Now, I'm gonna take you to a seated position on our next exercise for a lean back with a towel row. So let's start with our arms out, ready? We're gonna roll in, pulling our shoulder blades back and together. Now if this leaning back position hurts your lower back at all, just come up to a standing position or just sit upright, however is comfortable for you. You're gonna maintain that pull back, rest. So you're always squeezing your shoulder blades together. Once again, we're always keeping tension on the towel. So heels are out, lean back slightly, Ready? Let's go. Roll it in. Pulling those shoulder blades together. Breathe through it. You can do this. Keep squeezing. Brace the core as you row. You're almost there. Rest. All right, let's go up to standing. We're going to take it back to cardio. For this one, we're going to go fast feet into a hop. All right, one, two, three, four, hop. Ready, let's go. 
One, two, three, four. Hop. Go at your own pace. And of course, if you don't want to add the hop, that's okay. We are trying to keep things low impact whenever possible. Keep it up. Three more seconds. Rest. Take a breather here. We're going to do our second set. Once again, fast feet with the hop. Add the hop if you like. Let's get ready. Here we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Go at your own pace here. Keep those legs moving. We're keeping our heart rate up. Breathe through this. Rest. All right, let's take it back to our chair, toe taps. So, once again, we're gonna keep those arms swinging. Let's get ready. Here we go. Fast pace. Keep it going. Swing those arms. Push through, push through. This circuit is really getting our heart rates up. Should be pretty challenging for your cardio. Rest here. One more of the chair toe taps. So, catch your breath here. Let's get ready. Here we go. Toe tap it up. Swing those arms. You can do it. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Almost there. And rest. All right, let's take it back to our V-sit. Towel rows. Once again, if you want to do the standing, that's okay. So, knees are bent, toes are up. Ready? Let's row. We want to keep the tension on the towel. We're pulling inward, rowing, squeezing our shoulder blades together. So, I'm pulling in all the way to my chest. Always pulling those shoulder blades back as I'm rowing in. Rest. Take a breather here. We have another one coming up. So once again, whatever seated position or standing position is comfortable for you. Ready? Let's go. Make sure you're keeping that tension on the towel. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Breathe through it. Pulling and squeezing. You're almost there. Three, two, one. All right, let's come back up to standing. We're back to our cardio. Fast feet with the hop. One, two, three, four, hop. All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Go at your own pace. You can always do a reach up if you don't want to hop. Any foot or knee pain, that can be a better option to avoid those high impact movements. Rest. Take a breather here, catch your breath. There's one more round. So one more, fast feet with a hop or a reach up. Ready, let's go. Go at your own pace here. Push through, push through. You got this. Almost there, seven more seconds to go. Rest. Grab some water. We're going to move on to three more exercises. So, up next, we're going to go into a chair squat. So, with this one, I like to do my squats nice and wide. So, I'm going to take a wide foot position with my heels and toes angled outward. Place my hands behind my ears. Pull the elbows back. And I'm going to squat down. Touch my bum to the chair. I'm not fully seated. I'm just coming down to touch the top and back up. So let's start our timer. So I like to be nice and wide. If you want to go with a narrower squat, that's cool too. Place your hands behind your ears. Set the shoulder blades back. Here we go. Squat down. And I really want you to pull your abs in as you squat. Breathe through. Elbows are back. Go at your own pace. Bracing the core. Get low enough to touch the top of the chair. Rest. So, 
shoulder blades are relaxed here. Catch a breather. We're gonna be ready to go again. Pull the elbows back, shoulder blades down. Here we go. Touch down to the chair. You got this. Push through, push through. Nice deep breathing, weight on your heels. Just touch the top, top of the chair and come back up. Prevent those elbows from caving forward. All right, let's take it to the towel. On this one, it's a standing lat pull down. So I'm gonna keep my towel taut. I'm gonna pull down to my chest. Ready, here we go. Pulling down, squeezing the shoulder blades and back up. Pulling down, squeezing the shoulder blades, back up. Keep that tension on the towel. You're always pulling out to the sides. Exhale as you pull down here. Rest for 10. So nice and easy. Take a breather here, catch your breath. We're gonna go again for a second set. So starting with our arms up, shoulder blades down. Here we go. Breathe, pulling down, exhale. Squeeze those shoulders. Work those upper back muscles. You should feel this through the lats and the shoulders here. Keep it going, a little bit through the bicep as well. Rest, all right, let's take it to our cardio. So here, we're gonna go into a touch down, alternating. Ready, let's go. Touch down to the floor, switch. Touch down to the floor, keep it up. So if you can go faster or you need to go slower, that's okay, you don't have to match my pace exactly. Move at your own speed here, breathing through it. Five seconds left. Rest. Catch your breath here, and we're gonna go into one more set of our touchdowns. So nice wide squatting position. Let's get ready. Here we go. Touch down to the floor. Get low in the squat. Full range of motion. Going at whatever pace suits you. Breathe through here. Five more seconds. Rest. All right, let's take it back to our prisoner squats at the chair. So once again, I'm gonna squat wide, but do whatever works for your hip flexors. Shoulder blades are back. Here we go. Touch down to the bottom of the chair. I just stepped out because my hamstring touched the chair instead of my glutes. So I wanted my, my bottom to touch the chair rather than my leg. Breathe through here. Get low in the squat. Rest. Take a breather. One more set of these. Nice and wide. Tuck your hands behind your ears. Elbows back. Here we go. I really want you to focus on the depth of the squat here. Try to get nice and low. So you're touching down on every rep. Breathe through this. Stabilizing the trunk by pulling those abs in. Rest. All right, let's take it back to our pull downs. So I'm going back to the towel, arms overhead, pulling the towel taut, shoulder blades are locked. Ready, here we go. Pull down, squeeze. So you're pulling your shoulder blades back and down as you pull downwards, squeeze. Breathe through this, exhale. And inhale. Keep it going. Rest. 10 second break, one more set of lap pull downs. So once again, I'm gonna stand nice and wide. Arms up, shoulder blades are back. Ready, here we go. Slight bend in the knees. Abs in, exhale. Inhale. Pull down right to the top of the chest. Breathe through. Nice and slow here, you got this. Rest, all right, so you back to our cardio, alternating touchdowns. So, standing nice and wide, squatting position, alternating with the arms. Here we go. Touchdown, back up. Touchdown, back up. Get low in those squats. Keep your heart rate up here, you can do it. Push through. Nice deep breathing, five more seconds. Rest. Take a breather here. We 
have another set coming up. Three, two, one, let's go. What I really like about using a Tabata timer for a circuit is that you get those breaks in between. So you are doing 40 seconds at the station before you have to move. However, in 40 seconds, sometimes form can go out the window. All right, take a breather, grab some water. By taking that 10 second break in between, it helps you to recover enough that you can keep good form throughout the exercise. So up next, we're gonna go to the chair. We're gonna go to a V in and out. So I am going to sit on my chair. Now you might need to turn depending on where the back of your chair is. I'm gonna place my hands just underneath. And from here, I'm going to extend my legs in and out. Now, if your chair doesn't work so well for that, you can also do a flutter kick. So either one is cool, whatever works for how far you can lean back in your chair. So let's set our timer. We're gonna go into a core exercise on the chair. So once again, I'm gonna be seated, either V in and outs or flutter kicks. So I'm gonna go with the V in and out, ready? Here we go. Pressing my feet out as I crunch. I'm just gonna place my hand up here. Breathe through this, you got it. Keep it going, heels out. Now remember, you can always switch to a flutter kick on our second set if you just wanna switch it up or vice versa. So on this one, I'll demonstrate the flutter kick. If you wanna stick with the V and the notes, that's cool too. All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Flutter kicks, your heels are out, making scissor shapes with your legs. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Breathe through this. You got it. Five more seconds. Rest. All right, let's take it to the towel here. So with this one, we're gonna go into a core twist. So we are gonna go into a semi-lunging position and I'm gonna to twist to the same side as my forward leg, twisting and bracing. Keep the tension on the towel. You're always pulling on the towel as you twist, bracing those obliques. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. You're always pulling here. Rest, all right, switch legs. Semi-lunging position. Start with my arms extended out, shoulder blades down. Ready? Other side, here we go. Twisting to the same side as that forward leg. Keep it up. Squeezing and bracing. The more taut you pull that towel, the more you're gonna feel those obliques working. Rest, let's take it to cardio. So we're gonna go into punch, punch, knee up. So we're gonna start with our right, ready? Here we go, punch, punch, knee, punch, punch, knee. You got this, punch, punch, knee, punch, punch, knee. Keep pushing. Exhale. And up, push through, rest here. So this time I'm gonna start with my left, so I'm gonna left, right, knee. All right, let's get ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Punch, punch, knee, punch, punch, knee, knee. You got this. Push through, push through. Almost there. Keep it up. Rest. All right, let's take it back to our chair. Once again, I'm gonna start with the V in and out. If you wanna do a flutter kick, that's cool. All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Extending my feet and legs out, so I'm pressing my heels away from me. Bracing the trunk. Keep it up, keep it up. You got this. Three, two, one. Lower it down. So once again, I'll demo the flutter kick here but you can do either or whatever feels better for your lower back or is accommodating in the chair that you're in. Ready? Let's go. 
Keep it up, keep it up. Heels are out. Keep pushing. Brace your trunk. Abs in. Breathe through this. Squeeze the core. Rest. All right, let's take it back to our towel. Lunging core twists. So once again, semi-lunging position, stepping forward, sinking down, pulling the towel taut. Here we go, let's twist to the same side as the forward leg, and I'm bracing my core. I want you to brace like you do in a plank. So when you twist, imagine you're planking. You wanna brace for a punch. You got it. Rest, let's take it to the other side. So, Switching here, sinking down into my lunge. Tension on the towel. Ready, here we go. Same side as that forward leg. Lifting the chest, bracing your core. You got it. Keep squeezing, you can do this. Five more seconds. Rest. All right, let's take it back to cardio here. So once again, punch, punch, right knee. In three, two, one, here we go. Punch, punch, knee, punch, punch, knee. You got it. Keep it up, keep it up, breathe through it. Punch, punch, knee, punch, punch, knee. Brace the core, get that knee up high. Rest, 10 second breather. And then we're gonna to go to the other side. So we're gonna punch left, right, and then left knee up. All right, let's get ready. Here we go, punch, punch, left knee, punch, punch, left knee, you got it. Keep it up. 10 seconds down, we're halfway. Water break coming up after this. Almost there. Rest. Grab some water, take a breather, and we're gonna go to our next round. A little bit of sweat in my eyes. I'm just gonna use my towel to wipe my face. All right, so up next, we're gonna go to a chair glute raise. I'm gonna turn the chair around. So here, I'm gonna use the back of the chair for support. And I'm going to go into a squatting position. Then I'm going to go into a side leg raise with the opposite leg. All right, let's get ready here. So my hand is on my chair, squatting down. Start with that leg lifted with the heel pressed out. Ready? Here we go. Lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. Focus on the glute. You can also bend if that's better for your hip flexors. That's okay. Do what feels right for you. Bending and extending or keeping the leg extended. Either one is cool. Rest. All right, let's switch directions. So on this side, squatting down, leg extended out with the heel pressed out. Ready? Let's go. Once again, you can kick that leg out like a frog kick or you can keep the leg straight keeping tension on the glute. Whatever feels right for you is okay. Keep it up, keep it up. You got this. All right, let's take it to the towel. Now this time, I'm gonna be on the floor. I'm going to start with my arms overhead and I'm gonna come up, pressing the towel up. Ready, let's go. So let's go straight arms, lift up, and then slowly back down. Lift up. When you lift, I really want you to squeeze, pulling the shoulder blades nice and high. So you're targeting your shoulders at the same time as your core. So let's do that again. So let's start down, arms overhead, shoulder blades back. Ready, here we go. Sit up, pull the towel taut. So you're pulling together or sorry, you're pulling apart, but also pulling the shoulder blades back. So you're really gonna feel those rear delts, which is the back of the shoulder blade, at the top of the movement. Rest. 
All right, let's take it to our cardio. We're gonna go into a double knee up. So we're gonna go one, two, switch, one, two. Ready, here we go. One, two, switch, one, two, switch. You got this. Stand as wide as you need to for this one because you're always shifting your weight back and forth. Add your arms for balance. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. We're gonna go again with our double knee ups. Shoulder blades are back, catch your breath. Stand wide, here we go. Double, switch. Double, switch. You got it. Keep this pace. Seven more seconds here. Almost there. And rest. All right, let's take it back to our chair. So once again, I'm gonna go into my semi-squatting position. I'm gonna start with my blue leg raise. Here we go. So once again, you can frog kick out if this is feeling tight in your hips, or you can keep pulsing with that straight leg like I'm doing. And we're really targeting the side of the glute, which is the glute minimus and medius. Rest. The glute maximus is the one that does most of our bigger movements, like squatting or lunging. All right, let's get ready. Angle the heel out. Here we go. Pulse it up. Breathe through, breathe through. Brace the core, keep those abs in. Push the heel out. Keep squeezing the outside of the glute. You're almost there, five more seconds. Glutes should be getting tired here. All right, let's take it back to our vampire sit up with the towel. So we're gonna start down with our arms overhead. We're gonna come up to that seated position, ready? Here we go, lift up, pull the shoulder blades back. And this is gonna mimic the top of a barbell shoulder press. So that position where you lock out at the top, through the elbows, through the shoulders, we're working that range of motion here. Rest. 10 second breather. And then we're gonna go again. Shoulder blades are back, chest is lifted. Ready, let's go. Sit up, pull back. Sit up, exhale, pull back. Force the range of motion to challenge you at the top of the movement. Pull back next to your ears. You got this. Rest. Lower it down. Let's take it back to our cardio. Double knee ups. All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Knee, knee, switch, knee, knee, switch. You got it. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Halfway. We're keeping our heart rate up here. Go at your own pace. Rest. All right, one more round, and then we're going to our final circuit. Let's get ready here. Nice wide stance. Here we go. Double. Switch. Double. Switch. Keep pushing, keep pushing. 10 more seconds. You got this. Almost there. Rest. All right, let's grab some water. Now on our final round, we're actually gonna combine the chair and the towel at the same time. So we're gonna use them for bicep curls. So I'm gonna grab my towel and I'm going to go into a seated position on the chair with the towel underneath my feet. So I'm gonna try to make this as even as possible. So I'm placing my feet in the center. I'm gonna sit up tall. Then with the tension on, I'm gonna pull and exhale forcefully, like, and then I'm gonna release, relaxing my bicep. I'm gonna exhale and go again. So when you release your arms, you're inhaling. So let's set our timer here. So we're gripping the towel so it's taut. Sitting up tall, pull your abs in, 
Pull your shoulder blades down. Ready? Here we go. Exhale. Pull with the bicep. And then inhale and release the bicep. Let's go again. Release. Keep it up. Keep it up. Tension is on. Rest here. So just shake up those arms. We're going to go again. Standing tall. Shoulder blades are back. Ready? Here we go. Pulling and squeezing the bicep. And then relax. Exhale. Pulling and squeezing. And just go at your own pace. You don't have to know exactly what I'm doing. Breathe through it. You're going to feel the shoulders and back working as well to stabilize as you pull. We're keeping the tension on the bicep. Rest. All right, in between here, we're going to use the wall for our next exercise. So I'm going to use my door frame. I'm going to step out, tuck my outside leg, and I'm going to hold. I'm going to walk my hand up a little bit to make this more challenging. I'm going to hold a plank, a side plank position. So I'm holding and bracing, breathing through it. My shoulder blades are pulled back. My abs are pulled in. Now by pulling your abs in, you really feel your trunk working. Rest. All right, we'll take it to the other side. I'm using a door frame because that is the sturdiest part here. So I'm gonna tuck my foot in, raise up, and I'm just gonna walk my hand up a little bit to make this more challenging. Pull the shoulder blades back, brace your core. You're pulling your belly button in, holding the side plank, breathing through this. You got it. So this one's about balance, trunk stability, and bracing. All right, we're gonna take it into a nice easy hamstring curl here. We don't want this to be super challenging. We want to slowly start to rest. Ready, here we go. So this circuit is also acting as a bit of a cool down. So this should feel nice and easy here. We're pulling the shoulder blades back, shaking out the legs, breathing through it. You got it. Keep it up, keep it up and rest. Another set of those hamstring curls, and then we have one final round. So let's get ready. Kick the heels up, pull the shoulder blades back. Here we go. Nice and easy here. Once again, this should not feel anywhere near as challenging as when we were doing the fast feed. We're just slowly cooling down. We're gonna keep moving, keep getting those steps in, but this should feel, this round should feel easier. <sighs> Breathe through it. Rest. All right, let's take it back to our chair for our bicep curls. So once again, I'm going to put my feet in the center of the towel, sitting up tall. Ready? Let's go. Squeeze, pull those biceps, and then release when you need the break. Exhale. Shoulder blades down. Rest whenever you need the break. Now, I'm going to take the breather in between, but if you want to keep going, you can challenge yourself to keep going through this 10 second break. So I'm resting here. If you want to do another few reps, let's get ready to start up for our next set. Ready? Here we go. Keep squeezing. Tension on those biceps. We're pulling the shoulder blades back, pulling the biceps up, bracing the core. Keep it going, abs are in, sitting tall, rest. All right, let's lower it down. So once again, I'm gonna take it to my door frame or wall. So I'm gonna go into my side plank position, leaning and lifting. So I'm gonna walk my hand up a little bit. Now I want you to pull your shoulder blades back in together, pull your abs in. So focus on core stability, pulling the shoulder blades back, Belly button in toward the spine. Bracing the trunk. Rest. All right, let's take it over to the other side. One more. So, walking out, so I'm leaning. Tuck that leg in. Ready? Lift up into the Y. Here we go, squeeze. Brace your core. Imagine like someone's gonna punch you and you're bracing for a punch in the stomach. Keep it going, keep it going. Pull those shoulder blades back. So you're trying to keep everything flexed here. Trunk stability, break. All right, two more hamstring curls to finish off. Once again, these should feel nice and easy. In three, 
two, one, here we go. The great thing about doing a standing side plank is that if you don't have much floor space to work with, it's an easy thing that you can do within a door frame or a sturdy wall. And it can also be done outside. So you can use the wall of the back of your house if you're working out in your backyard. When parks reopen, you can use uh, playground equipment, multi-purpose exercise without having to go down onto the ground. Ready, here we go. Breathe evenly. And towel exercises are also great for the backyard. If you're traveling to your cottage, you have lots of options there because then all you need to do is bring that towel with you, which you were probably going to bring anyway. All right, rest here. Let's grab some water and we'll take a breather before we stretch. Now I'm going to be using the chair for my stretches. So we're going to be using the back of the chair for stability. So I'm just going to shuffle this around, move my towel out of the way. Let's start with a back stretch. So I'm going to place my palms on the back of the chair, walk my legs back, and then just drop my head down. So my head is between my elbows. You want to push that bum back and keep your back flat. So you're really getting a stretch in the lats here. Nice, easy breathing. Stretch out those upper back muscles. The towel exercises did really work these, these lats here and the rhomboids. So this is helping to stretch it out. And let's lift up and walk it in. Next, I'm going to stretch out my quads. So I'm going to use my chair for stability and I'm going to hold onto my shoelaces, set my shoulder blades back, relax down, but push my knee down toward the floor. So I'm actively pressing the quad down. Nice, easy breathing here. And this exercise, this stretch is pretty easy to cheat. If you just hold the leg, I want you to actively press down. So you want to really get that stretch elongating the quad. Let's switch it out. Let's go to the other leg. So once again, I'm going to hold onto my shoelaces, pull my abs in, relax the shoulders down and actively press my knee down toward the floor. Breathing through this. And lower that leg down. Let's stretch out our glutes. So I'm going to cross one leg over the other and I'm pressing and angling the heel out away from me. And I'm going to sink down into a semi squatting position with my chest out, back flat, and the heel on the floor is where I'm focusing my stability. I'm pressing that heel down, lifting the chest, and you're gonna feel this all through the side on that bent leg, right into the glute. Breathe through this, and lower it down. Let's switch it out. So we're gonna go to the other side here, turn and press the heel out, sink down into that semi-squatting position, so I'm pressing through the heel that's on the floor, but I'm also pushing the heel out on the bent leg that I have crossed over. And lower it down. So lastly, we're gonna stretch out our shoulders. This is going to be similar to my lat stretch. I'm gonna cross one hand over the other, back my legs up and then sink down now in this one, depending on your shoulder flexibility, you'll notice I can't get as low. I can't put my head down. That's okay. Do what feels right. So you're getting a stretch on the back of your shoulder blade. This one is also a great stretch to do on your kitchen countertop or even on your desk. Anything that is about the same height as the back of the chair. And then let's walk back in, switch out our arms and then drop back down into that rear delt stretch. So we're really stretching the back of the shoulder blade on the arm that's on the bottom. So we're really elongating that side. And walk 
lock it back in. We're all done for today. I hope you enjoyed our circuit. You can do this indoors or outdoors. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.